Allah, did you put the disposal of the estates of those who were suicided? Did you put that into your paper? Of all of your field research, did you include the understanding that A, you were evaluating a time frame during which the Soviet Union was being compelled to dismantle and to reconfigure and recomport its economy to uh, acclimate to the 20th and into the 21st century capitalist paradigm? B, that peace treaties that were very instrumental in that transition were signed under the legacy of Bill and Hillary Clinton, which also understood that there were pre-existing deals concerning fraudulently issued bonds that had been allowed to be maintained, and that part of their campaign also involved being able to get away with illegally bonding people to suicides after they had been murdered. Understanding that life insurance benefits connected to people who have uh, committed suicide have a different concept and manner of transference to people in their families and their communities. And C, that if such a situation were to be imposed upon a group of people that actually had a Marxist-Leninist inclination and or astuteness in terms of their political analysis, while they were allowed to have the termination of their lives characterized as suicides, then those pronouncements that they make, those public notices, that you were so concerned with and were attempting to analyze would also be a form of disposal of their estate. And the thing is, is it's a double psychological impact. There is a record, public, visible, theatrical, of what that life could have been. But based on somebody else's classification of security, there's no transference. It's dead air. It's just the show, a production, unless you allow for it to be converted. And maybe that's really what the relationship between Israel and Texas is about. Jews don't want to convert the Jews, but maybe they're okay with letting the Christians convert the Muslims. Once you become Muslim and your Marxist Leninist has become branding, do you know how easy it is for the bourgeoisie to appropriate the structures, methodologies, and symbolism of Marxist-Leninist movements without actually making any substantive changes to ownership of the means of production for the people that are actually providing both the material and immaterial production? I mean, you're the one who was able to enter the ivory tower and get some acknowledgement. You're the one with the extra letters now. Of course you know, right? I'm not going to commit suicide. They tried year after year, time after time, to get my mother to commit suicide. You know that's not how my mother died? My mother was assassinated by judges who had law degrees. Someone calls them doctor. 